Hey guys, so I rarely make videos that are not cards that have been recently spoiled the same day, but this one just drives me insane. It is about the Mana Source Weds, Anthony. Now, I am not going to forgive him for some of the statements he said. I grew up in a local game store. That is where I play Magic and that is where my community is. So local game stores are under attack from Wizards of the Coast in many different directions, actually. Uh, they can be banned for a meme, a flag, and they can be banned for, or I guess their distribution. Now they're at the mercy of distributors who favor larger buyers like Channel Fireball, Card Kingdom, Star City Games. Now, Wedge has never been a big supporter of, he is a big supporter of Walmart, which is hilarious because in the next tweet, which was a few days ago, actually one day ago, he was talking about Prime and how Amazon did not treat its uh, employees correctly. Of course, Wedge being a businessman himself, he would know how to treat employees correctly. Right? He would have no difficulties uh, lauding, lauding the low prices and availability at Walmart and then slamming Amazon for its unhuman-like behavior. That is the definition of being a hypocrite. If you are lauding Walmart for their treatment of employees, or I guess at this point all you care about is the price, but it is well known that Walmart does not treat its employees as good as they can. And then you slam Amazon for its treatment of employees. This is the definition of being a hypocrite. Now, many of you might ask, oh, he doesn't have a local game store. He buys his cards from Walmart and Target. How does he have a community? Wedge put some pretty personal stuff online uh, about his health. And to be quite fair, if he didn't put uh, that he saw a doctor, he, you know, I would screenshot a lot of the stuff that he is saying because it's not going to age well. The whole, oh, um, so when he was talking about going to GP Vegas and Star City Con, he wanted to make it seem like he really loved the community and that's why he was going out. And even though his doctor told him not to, for love he was going for the love of the community he was going to go well that didn't age well because now the community bailed him out of eighty thousand dollars right if he hadn't tweeted that it would just seem like a random medical emergency instead of somebody who was told repeatedly do not go do not go so this is the definition of a hypocrite right you shop at walmart you buy all your magic cards at walmart not your local game store that does probably treat employees with more respect. Um, again, it differs because local game stores are smaller business and local business. And now you're saying today's Amazon Prime. There's also an Amazon boycott going on because Amazon is shit to its workers. Amazon owns Twitch where many of my friends make a living. Imagine that, that many of his friends don't have a real job. I never buy anything on Prime Day, so I don't have to make that choice. But damn, come on, Bezo, be human. And here's my, here's my, here's what I'm going to ask Weds. Weds, you shouldn't take delight in that a local game store lost his WPN store. That's not something that people are happy, that's, that's not something that anyone should be happy about. Um, stores should be given the chance to improve, just like people. Uh, you even if we don't expect them to improve and we expect them to be on welfare all their lives, we want to give them the chance to get a job. And even if the probability is low, I think you should give them as many chances as possible. So even if you are critical of that flag, of the um, changing of the words, <laughs> you just need to talk to them. So I think it's very hypocritical that Weds loves Walmart buys all his stuff from Walmart, which honestly shows, right? He shows that on Twitter, and then slams Amazon for his treatment of employees. Well, guess what? 
Walmart is probably far worse. So we have this other dude and this other dude is all about like Jeremy and me losing my jobs. Like he's just spending all his time. He doesn't work in nine to five and he spends all his time trying to get other people to lose their jobs. And this is the society we live in. We live in a society where Weds and his friends are jealous of people who have real jobs and therefore they want to destroy businesses, destroy local businesses. Now, this is a reason to ban a store for WPN. Um, as you see, he gets many likes, he gets lots of comments, he gets lots of retweets. One of the biggest criticisms from Weds and Tolarian was you have to be careful about what you say because it does have a very big impact. In this case, it has the store banned. Because Weds has said this, there's no way for Wizard of the Coast to go back. All these sponsored personalities, Saffron Olive, Tolarian, Weds, they have all agreed that, that this, person, this person should lose their store. Weds says Wizard of the Coast is a corporation. They can do whatever they want. If a store mocks and goes against their rules, they have literally every single right to remove their support. There's literally not a single argument that is on the side of the store that makes legal sense. Weds obviously graduated from a top law school. He's super well educated. Um, wait, he's not? He, got, he has a major that he cannot use? And he can't even go to... A... How does Weds know all of this? Like, is Weds a... Like, is he a genius? Is he an online expert? Like, does... I mean... There is a legal argument here, and it's a pretty good one. Um, when you rely on someone to do something for you and you have a contract in place, you can actually sue under the contract. And even if there's not an explicit contract, there could be an implied contract where for the last 10 years, they've been shipping product to this person. And this person's been, he was just supposed to have a PPTQ like next week or something, right? That has to be canceled now. And the, the opinions of these people, including Weds and Tolarian and all these other people who think that they're experts in every field they tweet about, is ridiculous. Weds thinks he's a medical expert. Did he get his MD while we weren't looking? It's kind of hard to get your MD when you have IBS and you can't like work you know, for two hours a day, right? It's kind of hard to get an MD when you can't make one video in a month. It's kind of hard to do that, right? Doctors are very hardworking. Most of my friends from NYU, they became doctors. They work 80, 90 hours shift. Residency, they get paid $40,000, $50,000 a year, which isn't a lot for a doctor, but then they, they're on shift all night. It's like, it's crazy. So uh, this is Weds. Um, there's no mercy anymore. Right, like there's no mercy anymore for Weds because at the end of the day, you have a guy who people are listening to because they like his comments, they retweet his comments, and he has no expertise in any of these fields. He has no expertise. This is the same guy who was taught, told by his doctor, who he must have gone to several times before, do not travel. And if he had taken a risk just to go to Star City Con, he would have gotten away with it. But he traveled again. This is a guy who has said many times due to mental depression and or IBS and or back pains that he cannot get a real job. He can't get a nine to five job. And this is a role model for Magic the Gathering. This is the ideal role model for Magic the Gathering. Whew. Um... That is absolutely insane. And just read his, many of my female friends play magic. Most do actually. So many, most, who cares? They definitely have an interest. Laugh out loud. How, I, I'm struggling to understand like, when you look at like other areas in the community, if you look at other communities, right? Faker and League of Legends. Fake is a boss, right? He's a boss. He works his ass off harder than anyone else, probably. Definitely anyone in North America. 
you look at um, Dota, you look at all these, st uh, I was watching, what was that? What was her name? Like Crimson or something. And she's a female star something player. And the amount of effort that she works, because she's a female gamer in a mostly male dominate game of like Koreans, is crazy. Scarlet, uh, her name is Scarlet. So I was watching some of her videos, VODs, and I was like, wow, this person is pretty good. In life, you need to work hard to get what you want. You're not handed out stuff. Reality will eventually bite you in the ass. I know this, you know this, everyone knows this. I, I compare this akin to someone who is used to getting stuff all the time and they haven't really worked for that stuff Eventually, the donations will run dry. Eventually, you will be exposed for what you are. And eventually, you'll be punished by reality. Reality is the ultimate arbiter. It will crush dreams. It will devour your soul. And it's coming for you, Weds. It is coming for you. Anyway, I mean, this is the same, right? Like... Wedge makes 100% of his money from Magic the Gathering. If Wedge were smart, he would be like, hmm, having more local game stars is probably good for the game. But Wedge is thinking that, hey, we need more Walmarts. We need everyone to just buy cards from Walmarts and not interact with their local game store. And oh, by the way, Amazon, you suck because you treat your employees worse than Walmart. Or you treat your employees so bad and then he'll overlook Walmart. Like a lot of his arguments, I think it's due to, I forget what his major was, but it seems like very illogical to me. Like the, a lot of people will say, oh, what about his great videos? It's just a top 10 list. Like there's no secret to that, right? He takes a net deck that he doesn't own the cards and then he reads it off in a script. Like, are, are you for real? Like. As I said many times before, I can't do that because I don't play the deck and I'm not going to pretend I do it. And that's why I have failures and decks that shouldn't have failures because I don't want to pay for Teffy, right? That's why I have Leras where people have Teffies because I don't want to pay like not much money for him. Like, so I, if you watch this video, he doesn't play magic. He just does not. Like, it's so obvious to me as a player, I've been playing magic for a long time. I've never had the optimal deck. No matter how much money I've had, how much money I've spent, I've never had the optimal deck because due to the shift in your meta, your, your local meta will be different from the uh, GP meta. Unless you're going to GPs all the time and that's all you do, maybe then that meta is that meta. But like the biggest hypocrite in all of Magic the Gathering is Weds. All you have to do is watch one of his deck tech videos and you're, you know what I mean. Anyway, bye.